Hi, Jared and I are sitting here. We're, oh, you can see actually right there. We're at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I'm really, really on the hunt right now for like some like dining chairs. And so I figured I had my camera for some reason, like I had this vlog camera. Um, and so I'm like, why don't I just vlog today and, or like through the week and stuff um, and start the vlog now. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to go in and look for some dining chairs. I really want to find some like wood dining chairs that I can paint red because I have this vision for like our little dining nook section and I really want to do that so we'll see about that I have paint all over my hands I need to take it off um, or get it off because I painted part of our front patio um because I just had it just needed like a what is, it's like a refresh of paint kind of because we have well water and if you know and if you have well water too you know that the well water stains they're so bad but especially like outside they get so bad Okay, this is the outside. Um, but this is essentially kind of like, almost like the chair style that I'm looking for. I like that one. Does it go, oh, it goes up, but yeah, like that. That's wow. cute. that's cool. Love that. That's cute. I want a rocking chair. You do? Please. I know, this one is too, look at it. I just think that's so cute, actually. Do you? No. Yeah, I think cool. it's adorable. Well, it's bigger than the other one. I feel like we also look at how many framed things they have here crazy and they're like big too <laughs> way later in the day now we're with jamie and we're walking um but i figured i would vlog now because i wanted to take video because it's so pretty right now out and i was like it's gonna look so random if i don't just like say what i'm doing but anyway we went to habitat for humanity earlier and we did not find anything so we didn't get anything um so we're gonna have to go this week and look at like thrift stores and do that kind of thing but guys okay it's such a rainy day and i just got a package in that i'm so excited to open it's from um never ending boutique and they actually sent it over to me and i'm so so excited to open it because they have the cutest things they have vintage items they have like um new pieces and like boutique items and stuff and their style is so so good and aligns with my style so well um and so i wanted to open it with you guys on a vlog and then I'll style it eventually, like the pieces in here, but I'm so curious to see, and I already see how cute, I'm gonna cry, this is so cute. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna sit on my bed and open it. These are so cute. Look at the patterns. Franklin, look. Tote bag, and then this little makeup bag, shut up. Goat's milk and olive oil, sweet strawberry. I think this is a soap, how cute is that? And then this little claw clip, little cherries on it, eyeshadow palette. Wait, let's see what it looks like. Oh, ooh, pretty. It says going coconuts. This is so sweet. They like packed this full. Oh my God. Thank you, Lex. This is the freaking sweetest thing ever. Okay, look at now we have all of these to go through and in a whole nother pile. She went crazy. This is so sweet. Look at this hat. First of all, I mean that I'm going to wear all fall and winter. That's adorable. Then these shorts. Oh my God. Cute. They're like striped like pajama style shorts, but I love to wear these and style these up and that's going to be so fun to do oh God, Cute like a dress. Oh my god. I love this. I don't have anything like this Look at the detail at the top. I love this. This actually reminds me of a free people uh, dress that they have on their website I'm in literal shock. This is the cutest thing ever. <gasps> oh I love this. This is like my exact Vibe, okay cash is playing in the box if you can hear him behind. Sorry. <gasps> Oh my god, look at me. You see the collar? That is adorable. And then this basket is freaking so cute. I have to find a spot for that because that has to be displayed. So cute. Thank you so much, Lex. I, you guys need to check them out. I'm not kidding. Like, if you can see from this bundle right here, their style is so good. I'll end up styling some of these pieces in a different video, but I wanted to open it up with you guys because I was so excited to open this and get it. It's today's lunch. Match. <laughs> okay, well, I did have a bagel earlier, so this is like snack i should say then this little wrapped prosciutto and mozzarella and these hard-boiled eggs that i bought at uh, target because i was like sometimes you just need these when i don't have time to like cook and i don't prep them because i don't i never prep my hard-boiled eggs i'm just really bad about it so also they make them perfectly i don't i'm going to light this candle because it smells so good it's this coffee and whiskey 
Oh, I didn't think I would like it, but I really, really like it. It's from White Barn. Bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, and hint of coffee. It's good, and then I also found this like snuffer thing at the um, at the thrift store the other day. It doesn't, I think it's more so for like candlesticks because the normal ones, the other ones have like, it, you know, bent at the bottom so that you can like, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I need to eat this and then I need to edit, but I wanted to show you my food. I don't even know why I, Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, I am about to sit down and eat, but I also wanted to put on some eye patches because my eyes are like really puffy, but I'm eating scrambled eggs with ketchup and uh, what is this, pacha. Um, I am so tired today. I'm going to be using these Pacifica Leave Pretty Anti-Puff Eye Patches for puffy eyes and dark circles. Um, so let's see. These are my eyes before. I don't know if we can tell. <laughs> They're cute little leaves. What? You want eye patches on? 10 to 20 minutes. So I'll probably just do 20 minutes because I'm going to eat and work. Um, and I just wanted to say good morning, start the day. Uh, I have my laptop here and I also need to charge my laptop. That's nice. So anyway. Okay, this is the after. Does my under eye area look different? I don't know. I feel like I look more awake, but is it because I am more awake or what? I'm not sure. Hi, you guys. I don't know if you can see me over my um, my steering wheel, but um, I'm on my way to go get my nails done. Um, they're definitely grown out, and I wanted to show you guys the color because I've gotten so many questions on this glitter color. So I'm going to look in the, on the gel samples and get the exact color. Um, and I don't know what I'm doing though today on my nails. I'm kind of just winging it. That's what I usually do. I just go in and see what I like. Okay. I'm here. We're going to go in. I don't know if I can show you my outfit. I don't know. Anyway, it's so dark out today. Did find out my last gel polish, the name is it's 523 i believe by dnd 523 rainbow day by dnd i'll put the screenshot here um but that was the one i had last time i believe she did like four coats of it um i think and then this time this is what i did it's so freaking cool i love the girl that i've gone to the past couple of times this, i mean the only times i came here but if you can see she did like a layer of black gel or like three coats or something of black gel and then she did this like cuter kind of chrome powder on top that she rubbed and i just think it looks so cool and so fun um my mom just left as well we were the last ones i also got my feet done which i have not done in years and yeah and we're also going to so i think i have a lot of things at home that just got delivered that i'm really excited about from etsy I've, like ordered a few things i'm just trying to like get some things done oh my god like for fall time i just get so inspired to refresh um but anyway we're going on saturday to a haunted hayride with my family which i'm so excited about i have not gone since high school and if you guys live in michigan and you've heard of Erebus, it's like this major haunted house um, and I went to that when I was a freshman in high school and I was so freaking scared and I would never go back to that. No, I'm not a haunted house kind of person. We have here, pretty sure this is for you, Cookie. Here we go, Cashew. Some kitty food just for you guys. No fighting right now. No fighting. Ah! Oh my. One or two. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! These are so cute. So the first thing we have here from Etsy. So we got some sconces. I will show you them later in this vlog. But I got some sconces for in our bedroom. And then I custom ordered these beautiful, beautiful lampshades for on top of them. They're handmade, they're gorgeous. They were such a good price. Um, they shipped fairly quickly and came fairly quickly. I, quality is gorgeous. And I'm so excited to see how they fit and work. Um, and they were, I think they were a great price for what they are. This. You take 
tablecloth for the fall season um, because I just really liked this. It's this like white and red stripe, kind of like burlap material um, box for this. Let's see the print though. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, beautiful, loves it. First of all, there's frost, and if you can see, there are wild turkeys. I don't know if you can tell. They're all like back there, walking back. Rex is a little concerned. I need, and this shows me I need to clean these windows. But good morning. We're going to go to Home Depot soon because, again, I'm working at my office. We're scrap molding and it's so cold. This is our first time putting on the heat. I just went up there and I turned it up because I'm like, it is getting too cold in the mornings. Um, so heat is on officially for the season. It's time for a hot drink because that is also the season. I only get in the mood for a hot drink when I'm up early and I got up early today. Creamer. My favorite mug, thrifted, a thrifted pleasure. We're gonna mix these, because yesterday I just did this and it was a little bit too sweet, so we're going to mix some regular milk in and also it froths better, I think, so. Gorge. Max, no! Did you cry? I'll see you guys while I'm here. Um, I actually, in the middle of the night, they uploaded it. Um, I told you guys I used the dark room. I think that's what it's called, the dark room. For my, um, I used the dark room for my film developing. And they sent them back. I sent in like five rolls that I had and they look so good. Um, I'll insert some here of the pictures. Like I took a bunch of outfit pictures and they look great. Um, I did it for my brother-in-law's birthday. I brought the camera over and it was great. At the camera that I've been using though, I got it on eBay. Let me go get it actually. It's the Olympus Infinity Zoom 210. This is what it looks like on there. This is what it looks like here. And it's super, super easy to load film in this. It's way easier to load film in this than my other little cheapy cameras that I have. Um, but, and it has a flash, it, it zooms too, which is really nice. It's just really good camera. So if you guys are looking for a film camera, that one was super inexpensive on eBay. They have a ton of them. I accidentally bought two, so I gave my sister one because I thought I was buying two different like models of a camera because I'm trying to find a specific camera that um, someone I follow on Instagram uses and I love her pictures and so I was trying to find that and I thought I had, but I just found the same one that I already have. So um, make sure you look at them in case you ha do have cameras, but this is a lot of cinnamon. So good, warms my soul, you know? But anyway, so I'm just looking through those, favoriting some. I love looking back at these. Like all of the pictures of Felix and Rex together, they make me literally so happy. Like, look at, like, look at those little faces. That's what we look at while we're eating. We have beggars. There we go. Already. Hey guys, what's up? Um, today, I'm about to go run errands. I just stopped and got um, a matcha, of course. And 
a baking gouda sandwich. I don't know. I haven't eaten um, like a proper breakfast breakfast. I just had a smoothie. So um, it's like kind of like a lunch actually. It's definitely a lunch. It's one. I don't know why <laughs> otherwise. But anyway, I wanted to just get ready and get out um, honestly of the house. I need to go to the grocery store anyway. I was working on my office this morning. I have like, so if you see like white in my hair, I tried to get it out, um, but it's caulk and <laughs> C-A-U-L-K because I'm hopefully going to vlog all day. This vlog has been so random little clips that i just want to include in a random vlog you know what i mean except for i did put red lipstick on which was stupid well i didn't really realize i was gonna get a, get food but i just felt so like bleh you know and so on the days where i feel blah i just put on a red lip and i'm like that fixed it fixed me you want to know how you know that i need to get out is that when i go to the car wash for fun so This seems like a good time for a sexy music montage, so. I bet you thought Jeep SUV content can't be sexy. Um, this is what really needed the um, the car wash because I don't know if you can tell, it's all sloppy <laughs> from the dogs um, because you know when their heads out the window and after a walk they get slobber all over. But you got these little Windex wipe things to keep in the car. Cause it just looks so gross, you know? It just looks like, cause we don't know we have a dog. It's like, looks like we dripped like coffee out or something. You guys, I ordered these little like things off of Amazon to put my strawberries in, drain your part so you can wash like your strawberries or berries or whatever in there. And then um, you can put them in here and they last, I swear it helps them last longer, but if anything, it just keeps it from getting messy because I used to just keep it in like the, you know, plastic things that they came in after washing them. And I was like, you know what? It, what happened is it would get like smushed and then I would have strawberry juice all over. <laughs> so you just do this and then, okay, if I can do it right. Okay, wait, you guys. Also, this thing is going off. Also, look at what I just got in from Amazon, the Remy Cruz um, Nut Pods collection. I'm so excited. I love Remy. I'm a pretty basic gal. I've always loved Remy literally since she, I think, literally since she started i've been a rummy fan i have literally lipstick all over but anyway um it's just some of these flavors and i love my favorite is the cookie butter so very excited and the packaging super cute so i think i got these on amazon but they also have them on the nut pad site okay you guys i'm in the um dining room right now and i wanted to show you i think i unboxed some of these things earlier in the vlog there's this frame that I thrifted and painted and then I just this was the print that I opened from Etsy and then ignore the broken glass I have to order a new glass piece I broke it literally the like two days before I got the print in and then I also got this like light blue mat board if you can tell and I think it looks really really pretty this is actually I think a Detroit photographer or artist I don't know um, but I'll link it down below I think it's super cute and again I got the frame from Salvation Army and then I just kind of like spray painted the sides I, know, I love that um and i think i don't know i think i want to put it in this room let me show you it's in the dining room i feel like it would look cute but i actually don't know because i don't know if i want like another print because we have so many prints i might want like a painted piece of art you know i don't know or i was thinking somewhere in here this is our mud room and i think it could be cute in here i'm not sure and then also i got these um pillows okay so i got the pillowcases well this one's from ikea i've had that for a while and then i got this one from amazon and then both of the inserts are from amazon i don't really care for them to be squished like that i kind of like them just to look like that but anyway um i just <laughs> i just threw them here i don't know what i really want to do is i want to i need to take this off and then i'm going to put the tablecloth i just like having a tablecloth i think it's so cozy i need to hold on so that's what i'm going to do now is unravel this let's see hope it fits Cute. Then we also just recently found this table. This is not staying here, um, but I have not styled it yet. But I did get this little like this little setup of 
um, fall stems. They're from A Floral, I think it is. Yeah, afloral.com. And I highly recommend. I got these and I got, here, let me show you. And I also picked out these. Come on. Okay, these ones, if you can see. They look so pretty in my opinion. Um, and then, I think I'm kind of wanting to do something like this. I don't know if, if I'm going to keep them in this little pitcher, but I need to cut the little tags off. I have not done that yet. But I don't know. I'm trying to find the right vase for them. They were in this vase that's over here. Um, this is just like a thrift one that I DIY'd a while ago. Oh, I forgot. Aren't these cute too? These are from an antique store. I like to set those out. Because they're just so cute. Um, okay, what do we think of this setup? It's a little bit busy because I don't really love this being here. I'm going to move it to the island, I think. But I think it's good enough. Um, also, this is like our... I've already told you guys this. I keep my purses in here. This is like where we take things or we keep things that we need to do. Jared got us this to do. And this is going to be so freaking fun. It's the office Legos. I mean, how amazing. Everyone's seat. I'm just so excited about this. This is so fun. I was so excited when he got it in the mail. Um, I think he pre-ordered it a long time ago. Um, but I don't know if I've ever showed you this chair either. But I DIY'd this a while ago, actually a couple of weeks ago. And... I want to get a big vase to sit on there and have like big stems kind of. I think that would be cute, but I really like the pop of pink. It's kind of just like, I just wanted something pink in this room. So I was like at the thrift store and I found this old ugly chair and I was like, I can just paint that. And so I painted it in an afternoon and I really love the color. It's beautiful. I think it's a bear color, but for now it just houses everything that I need to hang up. I also have to get a print for this. I have the glass for this one, thankfully, so I just need a print. And I think that would be cute too. Like the green and the pink look so cute together in my opinion. Um, but yeah. Good morning world. As you can tell, it's very, I don't even know how to fix that because we don't have curtains there. Anyway, um, I am deciding if I want a matcha or coffee. Actually, I haven't mentioned this. Chamberlain Coffee sent over a package ooh, a while ago and I've been trying out. I mean, I've already really have been loving their matcha. Um, and then I'm also trying their vanilla matcha, which... I am still, the verdict is still out on, but their green regular matcha, so good. I mean, this is green too. You know what I mean? <laughs> the regular matcha is very good, but I think I'm wanting like a hot drink and I don't really love hot matchas. So I think I'm going to try this Fancy Mouse Espresso Blend and make a little latte. Um, so very excited. Let's see. Coffee beans are out on my espresso machine. Ooh, this smells good. Okay. What does Fancy Mouse taste like? Good vibes only. <laughs> I like that. Deliciously rich roast will delight the most sophisticated taste buds. You'll taste a creamy, chocolatey body with a sweet caramel finish. Voila. Also, their packaging is so cute. Oh my god, it smells really good. POV, you're my espresso machine. And now you're full. Anyway, that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I love you very much. Bye.